What's up everybody? It's tea time, the time to play amazing video games, and we're here to talk about the fastest way that we've seen to farm souls in the late game of Dark Souls 2. No bullshit, let's get right into it. Remember, this is the late game soul farming, which means you'll need to have done and collected a few things before unlocking the ability to do this. Here's what you'll need. Number one, access to the place unbeknownst bonfire in the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Number two, you need the Ashen Mist Heart, which you get from the Ancient Dragon and lets you enter memories. Number three, if this isn't your first time entering the memory of Jay, you'll need at least one Bonfire Ascetic. Ascetic? Ascetic? Bonfire Ascetic. In your inventory. And finally, it's not a requirement, but it sure as hell helps to be proficient in some sort of ranged combat, be it magical or other. Have you checked all these boxes? Cool, here's what you do. Step one, equip your best soul farming gear. For us, this was the Seldora robe, Seldora trousers, Jester's gloves, Warlock mask, and of course the covetous Silver Serpent ring plus two. Now, mind you, there might be better soul farming gear than this out there. By all means, if you know of better gear to use, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to learn. So, after you've got all that equipped, step two, you're going to travel to the place unbeknownst bonfire in the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Step three, assuming this is not your first time here, burn a bonfire ascetic at this bonfire to reset the items, enemies, and bosses of the area. Remember, if you haven't yet entered the Memories of Jay area on the current playthrough, there's no need to burn the ascetic, as all the bosses and items will already be present. Step four, enter the memories of Jay by investigating the giant tree conveniently located right outside the gates next to the bonfire. Step five, once inside this memory, you have a limited time, so keep that in mind as you proceed through the mist and onto the battlefield. Your first objective inside the memory is to pick up the Bonfire Ascetic, located up the stairs and to the left-hand side. It's very important to remember this step each time, as collecting the Ascetic effectively lets you repeat this process, which is the foundation of the soul farming technique here. Alright, step six is to fight the Giant Lord boss at the end of the area. Once you've got the Ascetic, head down the steps, turn left, and work your way through the enemies fighting one another as you make your way toward the far side. Once you approach the Giant Lord, it's best to head up the short stairs to the elevated area left of him, the one with this body slung over the edge. From here, the Giant Lord seems to only come at you with two real attacks, a vertical slash and a horizontal swipe. Both of these are relatively easy to avoid as long as you stay in this elevated area, and that's when your ranged combat comes in. Take a moment after each successful dodge to pepper the boss with one or more ranged attacks, and with enough patience you'll take him down in no time. The boss is easy enough to defeat with close range melee of course, but that approach becomes significantly more dangerous the longer we do this, and here's why. The bonfire ascetic we burned to revive the items and bosses of the area not only did so, but increased the area's difficulty incrementally and permanently as well. This is reflected in the bonfire intensity rating that you see on the travel menu. And while you can burn as many ascetics as you want in a bonfire, the difficulty can increase from it a total of eight times before hitting a ceiling. That means that the giant lord you fight on the eighth time through this process will be significantly more powerful than the one you fight the first time through. For that reason, it's important to employ a technique that'll keep you from getting hit at all. Anyway, now that you've defeated the Giant Lord, you'll be rewarded with a crazy amount of souls, which also scale with that incremental difficulty, and you'll also get the Giant's Ring as well as the Giant Lord's Soul. Step 7 will be to head to the exit through the doorway at the end of the area, examine the body down the steps and to the left, and you'll be transported back to the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Then you can head straight to the bonfire. From here, you can head back to Majula to spend your souls, or burn the ascetic you got and start again from step 3 at this bonfire. Before you know it, you'll have millions of souls ready to be spent on levels, upgrades, miracles, and more. 
And this is the fastest, best way we've seen in the late game of Dark Souls 2 to level up quickly. But we want to know, what are some of your favorite ways to farm in Dark Souls 2, either in the late game or early game? Was there something we missed? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you on the next Tea Time.